Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I'm just going to do a really simple little example here. Two different ways actually uh, to show you um, so that I can expound on this later and get a little more complex to what it actually looks like on the GED. But you can see here, this just says simplify. Simplify is a super generic little word in math that just basically means perform the indicated operations. You know, do all the math you can do uh, based on the symbols and then walk away. So what is this telling me to do? Real interesting problem. I have a negative out here and it's outside of a parenthesis. So it's telling me to negate whatever's in this parentheses. Now you might be saying, Kate, what the crap does negate mean? What are you talking about? Okay, and there's two different ways to think about the concept of negating and different teachers explain it different ways and so sometimes that frustrates students, okay? Um, the first way to think about negating is simply meaning the opposite. The, what is the opposite of 5xy? Uh, and so you can read a minus sign as the opposite. Now you might say, Kate, oh my gosh, I don't know what the opposite of 5xy is because I don't know what x is and I don't know what y is. Well, whenever you feel a little confused, let's come over to regular numbers. So let's think about like the opposite of 7. The opposite of 7 would just be, well, um, negative 7. Well, what if it was more complex? What if I was asking you about like the opposite of 13? Well, of course, the opposite of 13 would just be negative 13. And so that holds true to even something as complex as 5xy. If you wanted the opposite of 5xy, well, you know what that'd be? It'd be just negative 5xy. You just kind of bring that parentheses inside. So that's one super lovely way of thinking of negating. Um, and that's the way I usually think of it as a mathematician. But a lot of students get a little frustrated with that because they're like, I don't know how to tell when that negative is minusing and when that negative is multiplying or what does negating mean. Um, and so just an FYI, um, another way teachers will often explain this is when you don't see a number with the minus sign, it's like there's an invisible one. What I'm doing here in negating is like multiplying by negative one. And of course, whenever you multiply something by negative one, again, whether it was seven or 13, all that's gonna happen when you multiply by negative one is you're gonna get the opposite, that negative number. And so that's what I'll do here. The negative one times five uh, xy is just gonna give me negative five xy. So whichever way you think about it, like an act of negation or like multiplying by negative one, you're going to get the same answer. That negative is going to pass out to that term in the parentheses uh, and I will get negative 5xy. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other uh, GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.